Welcome everyone, today we have the September 19th update for the changes which Mr. Warlock gets flashy. Yes, there's lots of skin change for Batrider, Enigma, Slark, Sniper and Warlock. Let's look into the hero change for now. Blastica got a buff. So Blastica previously hit his maximum attack speed as right before he dies. Now he hits that potential so much earlier, more chance to do more damage and it is a buff to the Assassin and Deadeye Alliance. So now at 20% he goes Berserk before he's like just on the verge of death, which is very good because he has such low HP base. Lich got a nerf. Lich was bouncing his balls all over the map <laughs> and it was unavoidable and unescapable. Now there's a small chance if you arrange your units in such an area that you bait a spell away, you can waste a Lich spell because he won't be bouncing. Changes from 2 to 4 is massive. It's like shrinking by like 75% off radius, if you think about it. So it's good because Lich would still work on units that are close, but not on units that's like, you know, that's deliberately spreading out. So, which is a good change. And Majors needs a little nerf. I think this is a good start. They, they do need to nerf the human silence though, if they could. That'd be nice. Templar Assassin. The Templar Assassin, instead of being, you know, added to the ace of assassins, she got a buff by herself. But this buff also helps her team. So when she jumps into fight, Templar Assassin will fire a projectile that does physical damage. I reckon that's a physical one because from Daughter 2 law. Also, it decreases armor. Usually, you'll be looking at a 2 star Templar. So 100 damage and 4 armor. 4 armor is very close to 2 alliance of the Hapless, which is no small deal. And she, if she focuses on the right target, that's pretty big. So I like this change because this doesn't remove anything, it just adds to her potential as assassin. So two assassin buff, Blastic and Templar. Followed by that, we have Train Protector. This is quite big of a buff to the Druids because Druids has fallen off the matter and also the Elusives have not been doing well. So Train Protector is the cornerstone of Druids as a tank, as a healer, and so is the Savage, and so is the Elusive. Having Lich Seed that jumps to another target after, before the duration expires, it's pretty big. Because imagine you're just fighting Primordials or something, you just get infinite heal and no one dies. And that really excels in the Druid's healing potential. So I love this part. Next part, Tuss is living up to his name as one punch man. Tuss is invulnerable while he punches. <laughs> and then he loses all his hair after he punches. So this is not bad, not the biggest change in the world. It will dodge a little damage for Tusk. A 3-star Tusk, it's pretty good. I can go into a 3-star Blink Tusk. He punches and they wasted attack on him. You know, it's it's not bad. It's a buff to the Savage, buff to the usually Savages, because Warriors don't run Tusk in a late game. So I like that change, and I definitely will be running Savages with a Train Protector and Tusk, I think. Mr. Warlock. Mr. Warlock's Shadow Ward was not doing enough, because he had a such short CD, and was just wasting his attack intervals. Now, the healing is more substantial as it heals instantly for 75% of the total healing. That goes to 168, 337, and 675, which is not bad, it's a burst healing. And, you know, previously the unit either dies or just not does much. And the remain 25 will heal over the duration. So that's not that much, but it still works with Warlock's, like, you know, interactions of healing and Warlock's alliance. On top of that, the damage for the healing spell, which can be used offensively, goes 25% higher. So definitely a buff to Mr. Warlock, but the situation where we use him is usually in Bloodborne, and that's when we want him to attack. So if he's healing, he's not attacking. So it's a little, it's a little something. I like it, and I want to try the Bloodborne with Warlock again. I always love Bloodborns, you know me, guys. Alliance changes. The Dead Eye Alliance will have a difference maker. A little buffer to avoid the Bloodseeker and Sniper be like, ah, where am I doing? I run left and right, there's zombies everywhere. <laughs> Would I hit this zombie or this primordial or this zombie? You just see a Bloodseeker just runs around in like a triangle or like a square, and then he dies because he was bleeding as he's running. This is much better. Now there's a buffer. So the alliance itself is not counterproductive, which is great. And this in a line with a buff to the Bloodseeker, I believe I can try to run him into the Scrappy again. And lastly, the much needed and much awaited nerf to the tombstone. So if you want to think of a radius, a one cell radius compared to a two cell radius is about 50% of the range nerf. Because one cell goes into eight cells around it, two cell is 16 cells around it. So it's a 
50% difference. This makes you want to put two more forward, which can be destroyed. If you put a two backward, it will not change enemies into a zombie. It is a still a powerful item, but it needs a nerf. So this is a good nerf, a good start. Next time, maybe nerf the tomb's HP or armor if it's still too strong, but let's see how it works. Now, things to be aware of. Although there's a change to Lich, most players do tend to bulk up. So Lich, you might think this is a massive nerf, but a two cell radius means there's 18 cells to bounce to, which is still okay, but not all over the map. Templar Assassin, would be effective at two star. I think one star is not enough with only two armor. And lastly, I believe this is going to be a rise of the Druids and the Savage, which is something we'll be looking at, so we're definitely looking into that. So very excited. To summarize, I think this is a good change towards the direction for Assassins and Elusive, which have not been getting the best out of the meta. So Blastseeker, Templar are Assassins, and also Templar is Elusive. Shrimp Protect is Elusive, and on top of that, the Savage got her buff as well because they also use Train Protector. The nerves, the nerves are for mages and also for you know those pesky primordials that uses Tombstone. So overall, it's a great step forward, and I can't wait for the October change with six new units, three alliance, dungeon crawler, and also the four underlords. So super excited! Definitely stay tuned and subscribe for new updates, new reviews, and new epic builds like the last one, which we found like every alliance and every ace units to three star so that was a great game definitely check it out if you guys haven't thank you so much for watching guys if you want to support me further please follow and subscribe on twitch as well thank you so much guys take care my friends